Well, welcome everybody. You join us here for our coverage of what is set to be a truly exciting final. Formalities are underway. Everybody is soaking up an energetic, highly charged atmosphere within the ground. The teams will be with us very shortly. We look forward, of course, to that special moment. In the meantime, we take in the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of what should be a really outstanding final. We are in the port city of Porto and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao, blue circle of the Both teams, Jim, eyeing the ultimate prize here. Unerring focus and determination in all of those eyes. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I prefer. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time. So I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. Well, this is it. As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a... Oh, shooting chance! Managed to get it away. Can he shoot? Has a goal! Superb goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what... We're here for a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. That was easy, almost too easy. It's a simple game. The striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. Manchester United have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Bruno Fernandes, over to the left. Done very well to intervene. Pogba. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Wijnaldum gets it back. Paris Saint-Germain have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Rafael Varane. Juan Bissaka tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, real danger here! Pogba drives it forward. Marco Verratti. 
And here's Neymar. Hoists it forward. Now a chance to break. Cavani. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Fine Eldon. And they've been caught out here. Big chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Bruno Fernandes has made his mark on this game. And it's Mbappe. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Hoists it high. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Dicks one in. Neymar. It's Neymar! That has certainly tested the keeper. Neymar simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. <laughs> Away from immediate danger. Ramos just brushed off the ball there. Cavani absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. It's a brilliant interception. And it's Mbappe. And the counter is on. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Mbappe. Mbappe showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. There we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. There has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Half time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Manchester United have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half time. But it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half-time. Manchester United head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little... Ronaldo has a go! Oh, they did so well to set it up. Well, that was textbook stuff on the 1-2 there. Great link-up play, difficult to deal with. That's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. He's got away. Big and the finish. Juan Bissaka goes looking. Now it's Cavani. Good ball. What a ball. Shoots. And he's there to hoof it away. Paris Saint-Germain uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Shaw. 
And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. And here's Cavani. Has a hit! Sergio Ramos can get it clear. And it's Fernandez. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Pogba gets it back. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Keeper sends it forward. McTominay. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. So here comes the substitution. Keylor Navas sends that a long way. Forward it goes. Chooses to deal with it himself. That'll be a throw-in. Paris Saint-Germain making consecutive changes here. Bruno Fernandes is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, he's a, a source of potential trouble, so tight marking just has to be done. And the shot! It's there! And with that goal comes comfort! Simplicity itself. Cristiano Ronaldo is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for him. So that's two now without reply. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. He's off on a marauding run. And he's... Ramos! Neymar battles to win it back. Paris Saint-Germain making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Maguire. And he's going long. He's got he's gone for it! It's in! Paris Saint-Germain are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. The changes then in quick succession. <laughs> Paris Saint Germain get themselves back into contention. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Greenwood. And here's Rashford. Quick cut. Rashford has a shot! Oh, that is asking for trouble. Good clearance and very necessary. He's had a go! Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now.
Played back in. Oh, he's in! Bruno Fernandes. It's Fernandes! Big relief. It just needed better contact. has got rid of that. Trow calling for him to shoot. And that is it, the referee has seen it up. And so the moment has come. The trophy shimmers as they prepare to receive it. A never-to-be-forgotten moment. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.